everyone. Glad you stopped by. So I came home from my vacation and I looked at my Huikian, um flamingo piece with a fresh set of eyes. And definitely, as you can see, we've got some popping drill issues. Now, the more I think about this, this is nothing I did. What's really strange about this is there's not a lot of knobbly bits on these drills. But as you can see, they are popping. They're not really popping off the canvas, but they're not exactly staying down either. It's really strange. Now, over on this side, it's maybe just slightly better, especially up in this corner, because I've been rolling the heck out of it. But it's still got some issues. So I decided, oops, there's a missing drill. I better get that one in before I do my little experiment. I decided to do an experiment. What I am going to do is I ha am going to try sealing as I go. Now, I've never seen it done. I have not watched all the videos that are out there, so maybe somebody has done it. But I'm going to give it a try. You know, we buy these pieces, and should we have to deal with any of this? Absolutely, positively not. But maybe we purchase the piece and we're emotionally involved in it. Believe it or not, I'm kind of emotionally involved in this piece. I really wanted to do this for my friend. I was disappointed that the background wasn't green, um, but I'm even more disappointed by all these popping drills. You know, but so maybe the piece means something to us. Maybe we've spent a lot of money to purchase a custom and we don't have money to purchase that or time to purchase it or I don't know. I just want to see if there's any way to salvage a piece that's popping this bad. As some of you know, I do, I've done quite a few hua cans. Not a lot. I don't know. Four or five. And I've had some good luck. And evidently, I've had some bad luck. Look at that. Yeah, those are popping pretty bad. So I am going to do this experiment. Um, I am going to pause this video and I will be right back once I get everything set up for my attempt at seal as you go on a popping drill piece. So hang tight. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, here we go. Let's give this a try. Okay, first of all, when I roll my diamond paintings, I use this type of roller. I think I ordered it online. I don't really remember if I ordered or if I bought it at um, Joanne's in the, um, in the area near the Mod Podge. But what we're going to do is we're going to work on this seal as you go kind of thing from right where this line is right there. See that line right there? To where this line is over here. So we're going to do this section and we're going to try to, you know, leave the rest of it and see if this does anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll this out as well as we possibly can get as many of those drills down as possible. I'm going to roll it from se several directions. Okay. Now that I've got that area rolled really well, and I'm not hearing a lot of popping, but I, I'm just really rolling that down. I'm going to... I'm really going to give it some some pressure here. I've got a really firm surface underneath it. Uh, let's see. I don't want I want you guys to be able to see, but hang on. I've got a little bit of a I want a really firm surface under that. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Move Jeff. Okay. So I'm really going to try and do this. Put some pressure on this from as many directions as I can. Okay, now when I look at that, I still see some drills that are popping up a little bit, but it looks a whole lot better to me. Maybe even close to acceptable. Okay, so that's going to be my step one. Now the next thing I'm going to do 
is I am going to talk to you about what I use to seal my diamond paintings with. I don't have the container, but what I use is Elmer's glue, the clear glue, and I water it down. I put, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of water into the glue so that it, that kind of, um, you know, thins it down. I put it into a container. Usually I will thin the glue down even more. This is a Mod Podge brush. It's nice and stiff. So I will usually thin the glue down even more. Oh, before I do that, though, I do want to wipe these drills off just a little bit. Make sure that I'm not sealing in any dirt. Okay. It feels pretty flat. feels pretty good. feels much better than it, than it looked. Anyway, when I seal a diamond painting, um, I thin my glue down even more by dipping my brush into some plain water. So I get my brush pretty wet, and then I dip into my glue. Okay, and then I brush that on. Now I want this to be nice and thin. I want to get a nice thin coat. Usually when I'm sealing a piece um, and I use this kind of thin down technique, I will give the piece maybe even a couple of coats. Okay, now as I'm doing this and adding this, I don't know, moisture, I'm almost seeing these pop up as I go. Yeah, that's really frustrating. They're popping again. So there's another thing that I want to try. Okay, first of all, you, you guys are going to think I've lost my mind, but hey, this is an experiment. Let's see. So I'm going to wash this off really good. I want to make sure this is nice and clean. This is hard plastic, so it should wash up pretty good. So I'm just hitting it with a baby wipe. Okay, you guys are going to think I've lost my mind, but this is part of my experiment. I'm going to dip back into my water. So I'm getting some, some more water on my brush. I'm going to dip into my glue. Okay, dip into my glue there. I think I'm going to water it down even one more time by adding a little more water to this brush by just dipping back in. This is the part where you're gonna, you guys are going to think I've lost my mind. Do you see this coming? I am going to add some of this glue to my Mod Podge roller. Because this is nice and hard um, and smooth, and because the glue is, you know, water-soluble, I will be able to wash this when I'm done. Okay. So I've got a fairly good coating of the glue on here. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try rolling it with the glue because I want the glue to really go down into the areas where these drills are popping up. And I want to see if as that dries, that makes any difference. So I'm going to give this a really good roll. I'm hearing maybe a few pops. I'm not sure. When I look at it from an angle, it looks a little bit better. So I'm really going to roll that. Put some really hard, firm pressure. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. But, hey, it's worth a try. Seal as you go, right? maybe it'll help. So <clears throat> now that I've got that rolled really good, um, I'm just going to wash this. I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'll come back tomorrow and let you know if it helped at all. Okay, so I will see you guys in 24 hours. Okay, you guys, time for Seal As You Go video part two. You are looking at the part that we did not seal and my missing diamonds. Um, so we've got 
you know, lots of popping drills, not quite as much up in that corner, pretty much like we did yesterday. Now let's take a look and see what the results are from the part that was sealed. So I'm going to move you down. There's one of our lines. And let's see. Oh, there's our other line. So that's the part that we sealed. So let me get you in even a little bit closer to look at that. So I am going to go ahead and say that that is significantly better. If you remember yesterday, it was pop these drills down here were popping at least as much as those ones down there are. See the difference? Now I still see a few. There's one right there, if that focuses. One, let's see, where's my line? One right there. Um, maybe a couple over in there that are out and a couple over there. But it's significantly better. Now again, this was one coat of very thin glue. Normally when I seal, I seal with more than one coat typically about three because um, I'm putting them on so extremely thin. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to hit it, this with another coat, roll it out one more time and see if that gets some of those other ones down. I mean, if I hit this with a roller right now, I think that it would probably be definitely within the realm of acceptable, but I want to see if I can get those to stick down even a little bit more. Now again, that's what we're looking he at here, and that's the difference up in there. So can you see that? Yeah, it's pretty significant. Pretty significant difference from what we had yesterday, I would say. So I think another coat will help now, one other thing that I did last night is once this was dry to the touch, I did put some heavy um, books on it, thinking that probably that area down there is not sealed yet. I did put some heavy books on this, however, though, thinking that that would that the glue was probably still wet underneath and that that would help it to, um, you know, stick down even a little bit better. So I'm going to um, pause this video. I'm going to get set up and we're going to add a second coat to this. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is going to be the exact same procedure that we did last night. We're going to seal from right here to right there. So, oops, to right there. So in, between, in this little corner right here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my diamonds again, just in case it got anything dirty or mm -hmm. any dust or anything. I got one diamond that's kind of wild right there, so I think I'll just push him down in. Also, I don't know if you can see, but I definitely did not lose a single bit of my sparkle. It still looks really amazing. So <clears throat> that should be pretty clean. So I'm going to take my water and my brush tap that off i'm going to take my little glue bucket and just dip my my glue down in it i just dip it down in a little ways about you know right to there um shake some of the excess glue off so because i dip this in water i'm sure the glue probably gets thinner and thinner as i go but it seems to be working okay. I think the key to keeping my sparkle is the fact that the glue is nice and thin. Another thing that I was going to uh, point out to you that I didn't was if you see the washi tape, I've got the washi tape on there, but what I did with that was I left a tiny bit of a gap so that I can either cover over it with something else or trim it off. Typically, when I'm doing a diamond painting, I cut pretty much all of my border off. So I'm going to really, really make sure I get this down into all those cracks and crevices real good 
I can actually kind of see where it's going, so that helps. But I want to make sure that I just get that covered real good. It does look a little bit milky, so that kind of helps with the whole, you know, knowing where I'm at. Ooh, I got a little bit of something on there. Okay, let's rinse that off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and while that kind of sits in, I'm going to tap off my brush again and I'm going to take my glue and dip down into my glue. Oh, I forgot something. I'm going to set that right there for a minute. I'm going to wipe down my roller just in case there's anything on that that might get under my painting. I'm going to go ahead and just use my brush and let's see, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to apply the glue onto my roller. Now the reason I'm doing this, that it's kind of twofold. I want to make sure when I put this on my roller that I'm not pulling any glue off, that I'm actually like squishing the glue down in between my diamonds and hopefully underneath so that they really kind of stick well. And I am just going to roll this out. And that way my, you know, my roller itself is not pulling any glue off. Now I see an area where I lost a diamond. I'm not sure when that happened. I don't remember that being gone. Let me grab one real quick. There should be plenty enough glue to make that little guy stick. Okay, so I'm going to put some pretty firm pressure on this again. It's really looking pretty good. I don't see where it looks like anything's popped up at all. I'm going to go from several different directions. A little bit of something on that. Let's go ahead and get that off. All right, so like I said, normally when I would seal this, I would do usually about three really thin coats um, when I seal this anyway. So I don't really feel like the glue's cracking or anything when I'm rolling it, and I think it's because, you know, basically I'm using very thin um, glue and there's, there's you know, um, glue on the roller itself. So, okay. So I am going to go ahead and again, I'm going to let this one, let it dry to the touch. I am going to go ahead and once it is dry to the touch, I will go ahead and put some heavy books on it. I, this video may never end. I'm going to come back tomorrow, show you what it looks like after the second coat. Um, and then after that, I think I will stop right there. Um, go ahead and get this video ready to post and then what I will do is is try and finish this painting up real quick Before I even finish I only have a, a real small section maybe about this big down at the bottom of that painting to do But I think before I do that I'll make sure that all the diamonds are over here on this these areas that I've done but not sealed and I'll seal those with two coats knock this one out real quick and then um, I probably am going to add a third coat so that it's over the whole thing when it's done. Um, roll that out. And then probably I'll give you a final update. But for now, we're going to let this dry to the touch. I'm going to put some heavy books on it. And I will wrap this video up once this is dry, probably sometime tomorrow. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. It's been longer than 24 hours. It's actually been 48. I decided that what I wanted to do was I wanted to seal the entire project because if I had done seal as you go from the beginning, 
I would have sealed from down here where I started all the way up to probably here where my line was. This area down here has not been sealed yet. So I went ahead and put two coats, two thin coats on all of that because I really was wondering once I sealed this part and got this flat because this is the part that I did to begin with, was it was these being flat going to cause these to pop? And the answer is it didn't. Now it's not perfect. Let me get you a little bit closer. Some of those are still, um, they're not popping anymore, but I would call them a bit raised. They're in there pretty firmly, but that's so much better. So I have to say that as far as I'm concerned, it worked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this small section I have right here. Not too much left. Probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a little more than a quarter of the painting is left. I think I'll go ahead and finish that. Put two coats on this area down here. And then um, I'm going to seal it. Because some of them are still a tiny bit raised. Again, not popping off. Nothing's coming off, but they are a little bit raised. I think the final coat I may make just a little bit thicker. I'll roll it out real well, um, put the final coat on it, let that let the top dry to the touch, put some heavy books on it, and I don't know, you guys. I think I saved this project. Now, I said in the beginning of this video, you know, there's the whole issue, should we have to do all of this? No, we absolutely, positively shouldn't. We should be able to buy these kits and they should just be perfect and they should work. But maybe for some reason it doesn't. So at least this is an option um, because I still wish my background was green, but this is a, a very, very pretty painting. And I know my friend will love it and I want to be able to give it to her. So I think now that I have sealed as I go, um, that I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I probably will put this behind glass. I've already got a frame picked out for it. So I think it'll, I think it's going to work. Now, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of knobbly bits. Um, from the beginning, the drills on this were not the same size. I think one of the reasons that I have popping issues is there's a lot of gapping. Do you see that gapping? I think that's what's actually causing the drills to pop. I think because they don't fit together well, they don't hold each other down. So that's my theory. I could be wrong. So that's my experiment. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'll seal this with two coats, put a third coat over the entire thing, pop it in a frame. When I get it done, I'll um, show you guys again, give you my final thoughts. And that's it. So seal as you go is an option if you have no other option and you really want to finish a project so thanks for watching if you like this video and you're not already a subscriber please feel free to do so hit the like button on your way out and i will see you in a video really soon bye